We interrupt this program to bring you... Hi, hello, it's Mac and Cheesy once again. And today we are doing some renovation building stuff. Here we have a house that I got for my SimCell family. Uh, a couple of things have changed since you last saw them. Uh, they adopted a baby girl. They were going for a puppy, but ended up getting a baby girl. My husband, Akira, his estranged son, Atlas, has moved in with us. So still no dog, but now we have three boys and a baby girl moving in with us. So yeah, our little uh, apartment in the fashion district was not gonna hold up anymore. So I found this house on the gallery. I will make sure to credit the uh, original builder in the comments in the description below um, because I definitely, I don't remember who made it, but it's an amazing lot and I definitely want to give them their credit where it's due. So first, as you can see, I'm just kind of placing the stuff that I took from our house that we already had. And then I'm gonna go through, this is just like filler furniture, you know, just so I can figure out where everything's going. And then eventually we will go back and arrange everything the way it should be. But I'm thinking um, they're definitely gonna have more stuff for sure, because this is like a huge house. Um, I just wish that I had done it sooner. I just bought as of as the of the time that I'm doing this uh, voiceover recording. I have bought Cottage Living, Dream Home Decorator, and with the the industrial loft kit. So I'm really excited to use those. Um, the next video I'll be doing. Uh, you might not see it right after this one, but um, it, it's going to go into all of that stuff. So I'm really excited for that because it's just going to be a good time. I know that the 100 Baby household will be going into the cottage living world. Um, so that'll be pretty awesome. I'm not sure what to do about the dream home decorator life. Um we will see how we can use that to our advantage uh, gameplay wise. But I really just want to see the items, uh, the CAS, so like the build items and the CAS items and the new gameplay features. Because um, we have the likes and dislikes since they made that a base game update, which I really appreciate. That was a really smart move. Um, but today was also The Sims' birthday, so that's really awesome. And well, not as as you're seeing this, it's already passed. But the day that I recorded this uh, voiceover, <laughs> it was it was The Sims' birthday. And they did a refresher update. I'm not really sure what it all entailed. I've been so busy, I haven't had time to read the news in The Sims community or anything like that. But I hear it's I hear it's good things. Um, so a lot of like base game or like earlier packs, I believe got just like a little refresh update, which is really cool. Um, man, putting this house together was like kind of difficult because there's just so many rooms and it was figuring out where to put everything that we already had and then going back and figuring out, you know, what do I need to add? How to make things look a certain way. And so anyways, I start, uh, going deep dive into the kitchen, I believe. Uh, we have a lot of appliances here and just figuring out where everything needs to go. I added in an island, which I think was pretty cool because I ended up putting the sink there. I think that looks really nice. It gives us a lot more counter space. Um, as you can see, the counters do not match right now, but we will be fixing that shortly. And then once I find the right color, because I'm a dum-dum and I use the wrong counters. That was weird. Oh, oh, too many counters. Yeah, just a three-piece girl. There you go. I do like, um, I, I originally was going to go with the red, but I think I like this brown and black tone. Uh, it just matches the house better, I believe. And it just blends in uh, a lot more. So that's that on that. It does suck though, because I couldn't put the uh, original, I couldn't put the original, uh, set up how I wanted it with like the the one counter tip 
excuse me, the one countertop going over the fridge. I thought that was a really cool look, and it looked, like, natural, I would say, but it just wasn't working. We've got upstairs, it looks like two or three bedrooms, a few bathrooms, and the office, which I love that they can still have an office. There's a few bathrooms, like, they actually have quite a few bathrooms. I think there's four bathrooms in this house altogether. Um, and whoever made this house... They did like these little curtains that make it look like shower curtains, which I kind of appreciate um, because in some areas it just, it made it look cool. Um, but obviously they're not going to be able to actually take showers. So that was kind of, I wouldn't say pointless, but it just kind of was like either I take out the curtain and then add in like a bath, a shower bathtub that already has a curtain or just leave it as is and I just decided I just decided to leave it as is because there was there was no point in changing it. Um and I think it looks cool. It it matches and everything and I just didn't want it to mess up anything else that they had going on with the style of the house. Um <laughs> this leftover food, that's so funny. Um notice I have not taken the baby out of the uh the inventory yet like I took a crib out but that's not like the baby's crib because as you can see like the baby's not in there um but yeah I try to keep the setup mostly the same as far as decorations go um there is this garage room which is you know we obviously cannot use it for a real car because the Sims 4 does not have cars but I think they make really good like utility purpose rooms in a way um so I just put all their old college stuff there and like any extra stuff that you know just doesn't really match the house anymore i think it looks really good this living room is a mess what is she doing and by she i mean me now that looks good my snow globe collection is so cute look at that beautiful i like that my fan mail <laughs> It looks so homey. I think it came together really well. Um, there was just a lot to put in. And so I clearly used like a lot of money. But it's okay because it, I think it worked out pretty well. And then our room, it's like this weird L shape. Which I didn't mind because the, their other room was kind of an L shape. But like not as much. And so with it already being carpeted. It just was like, how do I accent things in this room? Oh, yeah, I got them a new bed. Because the other one, I just didn't like anymore. And I felt like they needed to upgrade it. This bed, I've always wanted to use for, like, the longest. And I think that just looks really nice. It looks very parental, you know? Like, just, like, these dark, muted colors. Very plain, but, like, elegant still. And then, so this room is going to end up being Alice's room. Um, obviously I have to change some of the color tones, uh, for it to all match, but that'll be Atlas's room, and then there's the nursery, and then the room for the twins, which I'm hoping that they can just, like, all keep those rooms for a little while, because by the time that Atlas goes to college, I'm sure that, uh, baby Fiona, the, the adoptee, our new adoptee, I'm so excited to play with her, that'll just be really exciting um because she's like the first girl in the house other than myself obviously but my sim definitely did not start out as a baby she started out as a young adult um so blah 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 right um she'll be she'll be there but by the time alice goes to school she should be able to move out of that room and then i don't know what i'll do with that room but um Oh, I did change some stuff with the living room. I think I ended up giving them a new couch. She's had that sofa since her first, like, raggedy apartment. It was not cute. It was, like, one of the ones that had the uh, the rats in the in the walls. Just not a fun time. I, I like the orange. It accents the rug really well. But I, of course, like, kept his chair. I just move it. Um, I think that looks a lot better. And it's more matchy-matchy. We love a matchy-matchy. That looks nice. 
some of this stuff I've never done with, um, like, a house before. Like, I had to do a whole bunch of random stuff because I was like, there's a lot of walls. There's a lot of areas to uh, add things, you know. And I kept that, their little uh, light thing. So I think that's about it. Like, see, I just keep going back and adding stuff like, to the walls. Because I'm just like, I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, I did end up sizing those up. And see, those lights were already there. So I was like, that that will be a good purpose. I should have, I don't think I go back to do it, but I should have uh, recentered that one in the middle because it doesn't really look centered, if you ask me. A couple of runner rugs. Like, this house looks fancy, guys. Like, this is actor money. This is YouTube money that she's, this is her her streamer money that put this house together, I promise you. I find it weird, though, that the one, like, half bath that doesn't have a bath or shower unit is upstairs. Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. So this is, like, the, the mud room over here. And then we have the laundry room, which I was really excited about because uh, a lot of times I don't put the laundry room in until I know that they, like, have the space for it in, like, a lot of my households. And they need, like, I make sure that they have the space and the... um the time to actually do the laundry but yeah i made like a lot of sitting rooms there's just so much like there are so many spots where you could just like add stuff just to add stuff which i i found kind of fun um it definitely made me like it forced me to give life to this house which i didn't mind of course um but it was just like a lot to do and you know you'll see me like go back and pick with things because like look I put his chair in there right well then it's like I don't have a chair so boom now I have a chair I try to make it like a fun color and then just add like some stuff so that's like a little reading room I'm not sure why they made that like the the closet when it's like that's how you walk into the room um but that's what they did and so I just worked with it and I put their little bucket there I think that looks really cute I think that's like his guitar or something. No, it's the bat. It's the bat that he got from um, <laughs> when he started his criminal uh, job or whatever, his criminal career. Nice little ottoman at the end. Like this is a fancy house. This really is. I really like it. I think I definitely like furnishing houses more than I like building them, you know, from the ground up. Like that is not my favorite thing to do. And I think that's why... I don't mind getting houses from the gallery. If you guys have any builds that you want me to use, link your origin ID like down below on any of my build videos, any of my videos really, and I will go and get them because I'm not a builder. So we can do like a shell challenge or something, honestly, if you want. Um, I won't make the shell though. You guys can make it. It'll be like a reverse shell challenge, right? I'll be the decorator. You guys make the shells. And then I will I will pick whoever shell I like the most. And then you guys can say, you guys get to vote um, which one looks the best. I'll do like three. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Because, you know, a lot of shell challenges, it's like, oh, uh, turn this box into a house. You know, turn this box that I put together into a house. But like, what if you guys make the box and then I make the house? I wouldn't mind that. Or just do like, or you don't even have to have it just be a box. You can do the walls and the floors and, you know, like the inner walls. Um, well, I guess that's part of the box too, yeah. Yeah, you can put like all the walls if you want. Um, make the whole floor plan if you if you really feel fancy. And then I'll just go back and I'll decorate it. And then you guys get to see how good of a job I do. And you guys get to tell me how good it looks or if I messed up your build. Yeah. <laughs> so this over here, um, this is the mud room that I put together. And it's kind of just like, oh, I think I'm looking for the, the bowling trophy shelf or something. I don't know. But if you don't know what a mud room is or you've like never seen one, it's really just like an area by the back door, typically, uh, where everyone could put like their coats and shoes. And that's what like the little muck down cabinet from laundry day is for. It's for like the back uh back area to do all that. And yeah. This this room is honestly my favorite. It's just like the hangout room. This is where the kids will, you know, go and kick back, relax after class, practice their cut pong skills. <laughs> 
I remember one time, this was, so I was grounded for my sweet 16, which was super lame. So for my 17th birthday, I had what we called, um, it was like a sassy 17, <clears throat> excuse me. And my mom was helping me plan it. And I was like, I want to have like root beer pong or just like cup pong. Cause you know, at that time I message games were like coming out super popular. So everyone was playing cup pong and she wouldn't let me because she's like a drug counselor or whatever. Right. And She said it was something about insinuating or, like, perpetuating the idea of, like, party games and drinking games, whatever. And I was just like, we're, I'm trying to do the sober version so people can, you know, realize that they don't have to use the alcohol. I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be fun. Let me know what you guys think about that because I thought that would have been a fun thing. Like, you know... I'll probably have that at, like, my bachelorette party. <laughs> a root beer. We'll have root beer pong. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Okay, so the nursery, this was actually kind of difficult because I was trying to make it unique and not like the other rooms. And then it was, like, super tiny. And it's, like, obviously just, like, this room for this little baby. But I kind of like it. Um, the twins room, I wanted to get a little more creative with it, you know, make it a little different. Because, especially because I didn't really remember what their other room looked like. And I think that was, excuse me, part of the challenge. Um, But yeah, I like it. I like it. And then best thing is, right, we get to do the backyard. And I try to do everything that I could with the backyard because I don't normally, I don't normally do that. Um, So I gave them a pool and I wanted to do like a pool and then like outdoor furniture and then like stuff for the kids because they have a huge backyard I just wanted to do everything I could for them the one thing I don't like about the pool tool is that you can't make I think maybe if you use the terrain tool but I'm not good at that um you can't just have like a deep end and a shallow one like it doesn't come like that it's just all deep and I feel like we should be able to choose how deep we want our pools to go we should be able to like section them and stuff i think that would be really cool uh but they won't let us i think um and also i feel like with the terrain it would like not do it like you could like probably put the terrain under but then like when you put the t- the pool over does it erase the terrain effect that you did under i don't know um i'm not sure how i feel about the lawn chair is still being like off in the grass and not like on the pavement or anything but hey I can't control what they did I do like uh, what I did with with the chairs though and then like you know you see the little grill and the patio I just think that I don't know maybe I should have like added more of the concrete but I think that's why like see I end up moving stuff like closer to it so that way it just like makes a little bit more sense the little kitty pool i think i yeah definitely gotta have the parents be able to watch the kids in the kitty pool aren't these so cute i'm this is just so i love it oh what did i do let's see honestly i don't remember half the stuff that i did on this because i recorded this weeks ago um but this is like just about it definitely need a fence gotta have a fence try to make it just big enough and then they can't like they're not gonna like drown but you know oh yeah the diving bar I think that looks cool All right, guys. So, yeah, um, (laughs) this was like crazy, Um, but I hope you guys liked it. And I'm sorry, this is like so fast. Um, (laughs) But, you know, you saw everything. So I wasn't even sure how to get the bar away. But yeah, uh, thanks for coming along. And I hope you guys like the video. And if you want to do the reverse shell challenge, let me know. If you want to see more builds, let me know. But yeah, I'm just really glad that I was able to do this because this was just, this was really good. Oh, changing things. But yeah. All right. 
stay cheesy, stay in school. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.